Hi guys, it's your girl Deja back with another video. Okay, so I came up with something. We're gonna learn our Bible study gonna be on the book of Proverbs. Okay. So Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs. We're gonna start here, you guys. And I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Okay. So introduction of Proverbs. Who wrote this book? Solomon wrote many of the Proverbs. Other wise men added. Uh, other wise men added others. <laughs> Why was this book written? This book was written to help people make wise choices. For who was this book written? This book was written for everyone, even people who do not believe in God can use. It's good advice. What kind of advice is found in Proverbs? This book gives advice on making friends, on living in a family, on money, on doing right, on caring about poor people, and on many other important things. Okay, so the first chapter is purpose. You guys ready? These are the Proverbs of Solomon. He was the son of David and the king of Israel. Proverbs teach you wisdom and trains you. They help you understand wise saying. They provide you with training and help you live wisely. They lead you, they lead to what is right and honest and fair. They give understanding to childish people. They give knowledge and good sense to those who are young. Let wise people listen and add to what they have learned. Let those who who understand. Let those who understand what is right get guidance. What I'm teaching also help understand Proverbs stories. It helps you understand the sayings and riddles of those who are wise. Man Pern. If you really want to gain knowledge, you must begin by having respect for the Lord. But foolish people hate wisdom and training. Don't be fool. Don't be foolish, you guys. Take this knowledge, take this wisdom, and run with it and be your best self. Okay. Think and live wisely. A warning against a life of crime. My son, listen to your father's advice. Don't turn away from your mother's teaching. What they teach you will be like a beautiful crown on your head. It will be like a change to decorate your neck. My son, if sinners tempt you, don't give in them. Don't give in to them. They might say, come along with us. Let's hide and wait to spill someone's blood. Let's catch some harmless people in our traps. Let's shadow them alive as the grave does. I mean, let's swallow them whole like those who do, let, like those who go down to the pit. We'll get all kinds of va valuable things. We'll fill our houses with what we steal. Come and join our game. Hold on just a moment, you guys. Turn this down a little bit. He still love you. Still love me. No, I'm not perfect. But you... Okay, yeah, let me get back. He called me worthy, okay? And guess what? You guys are worthy too. Okay, where was I? We'll get all kinds of valuable things. We'll fill our house with what we steal. Come and join our game. We'll share everything we have. My son, don't go along with them. Don't even set your feet on their path. They are always in a hurry to sin. They are quick to spill someone's blood. How useless it is to spray a net while all the birds are watching. Those who hide and wait will spill their own blood. They will be caught in their own traps. That's what happens to everyone who goes after money in the wrong way. That kind of money takes away the lives of those who get it. So pretty much, whatever you put out, you will get back. Whatever you steal, you don't get the key. 
law, know the law of attraction. A warning against turning away from wisdom. Wisdom calls out in the streets. She raised her voice in public. At the noisy street corner, she cries out. Here's what she says near the gates of the city. How long will you childish people love your childish ways? How long will you rule people? Enjoy making fun of God and others. How long will you foolish people hate knowledge? Suppose you had paid attention to my warnings. Then I would have pulled out my heart to you. I would have told you what I was thinking. But you turned away from me. When I called out to you, none of you paid attention when I reached out my hand. I answered. He called me. Okay. <laughs> You turned away from all my advice. You wouldn't accept my warnings. So I will laugh at you when you are in danger. I will make fun of you when hard, time, when hard times come. I will laugh when hard times hit you like a stone. I will laugh when danger come your way like a windstorm. I will make fun of you when suffering and trouble come. Then you will call to me. But I won't answer. You will look for me, but you won't find me. You hated knowledge. You didn't choose to have respect for the Lord. You wouldn't accept my advice. You turned your backs on my warnings. So you would eat the fruits of the way you have lived. You would choke on you would choke on the fruits of what you have planted. Childish people go down the wrong path. They will die. Foolish people are satisfied with the way they live. They will be destroyed. But those who listen to me will live in safety. They will not worry. They won't be afraid of getting hurt. Okay, 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 guys. That was Proverbs chapter one, the first one. And we're gonna stop there and I'll be back with part two. Toodles.